so uh, in this question we have x series and y series and we want to find the correlation between x and y using carl pearson coefficient of correlation now what we will do uh, if we talking about the formula what is the formula of uh, carl pearson coefficient of correlation that is r is equals to summation dx dy divided by square root of summation dx square and square root of summation dy square for the sake of convenience you can do one thing you can use this formula also that is what r is equals to summation dx dy whole divided by square root of summation dx square and summation dy square together right now uh, i am using this formula right what we will do we required few things that is what i want to calculate dx i want to calculate dy what exactly is dx that is what x minus mean similarly y minus mean so first of all calculate mean what's the mean of it so if you would just calculate mean i am using excel formula to calculate mean that is what equals to average of the series is right so mean of this is what 5 and mean of y series is what 7 this is what mean so i have calculate mean of it right i am going to highlight it so i am going what i'll do i will do x minus 5 to calculate dx similarly y minus 7 to calculate dy so x minus 5 and y minus 5 to calculate dx and dy right okay so i am denoting is what that dx and this is what dy so do you, we are just going to calculate it dx like 2 minus 5 2 minus 5 is what minus 3 fantastic 3 minus 5 is what minus 2 that means we are going to calculate dx uh if we talking about dy we can calculate uh, 6 minus 7 why 7 because of mean of y 7 that is why so i am going to calculate dy now we required another term that is what dx dy we required another term that is what dx square similarly dy square so if we talking about dx dy so equals to this is what dx multiply by dy right so this is what dx dy now i want to calculate dx square so equals to dx that is minus 3 multiply by again minus 3 because of it is square so it's 9 similarly minus 2 into 2 that is 4 Uh, on the basis of dragging i am using easily you yeah, know excel is very wonderful uh, software to calculate the statistics if we talking about dy square that is meant dy multiply by dy just enter that is what 1 minus 2 into 2 is 4 minus 3 into 3 is 9 4 like this so uh, we required summation of it because of the formula is what summation dx dy summation dx square so we required total of it also right so i am going to do total of it like this this is what 36 and this is what this is what total of uh, series right okay so we are going to uh, one i tell you one wonderful thing is what the summation dx is what zero and summation dy is what zero because of we use actual mean whenever you will use actual mean to calculate deviation you will find total of deviation is always equals to zero if you are using assume mean in that case you will not find that it's equals to zero it, it might be you will find some negative value or some positive value now we are going to just put this value into the formula right okay so uh 
I'm using this formula, right? What exactly it is? R is equals to summation dx dy. Summation dx dy. This is what? This is what? Summation dx dy. And summation dx dy is what? 5. Whole divided by under root of summation dx square. Summation dx square what? 36. So uh, it's what? 36 multiplied by 36 is equals to 5 divided by square root of 36. Uh, into 36 is what? 36. Right. And you just do uh, find the value that is what? 5 divided by 5 divided by 36 is equals to 0 0.13. 0.1388. So coefficient of correlation, that is what? 0.1388. It shows very low, positive, but very low coefficient of correlation. That means if we're talking about series X and series Y, so what kind of correlation we have? We have very low correlation in this case. Uh, is it clear to everyone? What type of correlation we have? We have very low correlation between X and Y. 